Hey friends, welcome back. My name's Maggie and the only thing I love more than makeup is talking about eyeshadows. So a while ago my YouTube buddy Hanya of Booze Beauty did a video talking about her top 10 single eyeshadows and I love this video so much that I left a comment saying I'll have to do this and like any good YouTuber, three months later I'm finally doing it you guys. <laughs> so we're gonna focus on my favorite single eyeshadows and this this was a tough call. I have many single eyeshadows. I think currently I'm sitting at like 40 something. So that's, that's nice. I actually didn't even do a count. That's just a wild guess. It could be more. It's probably more. But this video is just gonna focus on my favorite single shadows you've probably heard me mention before. I, I talk about these shadows a lot. They're real favorites. There might be a wild card in there. You'll have to watch to find out. But anyways, if you like these kind of videos, feel free to subscribe. I do put out new videos every single week. And let's get into the single shadow goodness. We're gonna have to focus on palettes at a later time, but guys, should I do, should I do like my top 10 uh, eyeshadows and palettes for my next video. That's a great idea. Okay, I'm gonna do, I'll film that after this. Um, sorry if you didn't want to see that, but I'm already like thinking about this in real time. That would be cool. Uh, Hania, if you're watching, what are your top 10 shadows that are in actual palettes? Well, this is, that's gonna be a tough video to film too because I love my eyeshadow palettes. But that video will be coming up soon, folks. Anyways, let's get on into the single shadows, which are the actual focus of this video. The first shadow, this is Divina Chromosphere. It's from the Aurora Flare collection. I adore this, and I talk about the formula of the Aurora Flares a lot because they're a very smooth and silky formula, and the transition is just so seamless. So you'll get this really pronounced, beautiful shift, but there won't be any patchiness. It won't look jarring I guess and it's quite pronounced so I was especially excited because I had wanted a gold green blue shift and for a while I couldn't find anything like that and then Davina expanded the Aurora Flare collection and my prayers were answered. I wear this as eyeliner a lot. I think it's really cute for that but you could wear this all over the lid, lower lash line, you could have a lot of fun. Next up is from the Terra Moons Iridescent Multichrome Collection. A lot of people sing the praises of Red Giant, but I happen to think that Phoenix is a bit undersold. It's a very beautiful iridescent shift. It goes from like blue to yellow to this very bright, almost neon kind of reddish orange. It's so pretty. I wear this on the inner corner a lot and I always get compliments just because it's so nice and intense. And the iridescence, like, Terra Moons just nails it. This is the best formulation of iridescent multichromes that I have tried thus far. They are a little expensive, but I would still highly suggest checking them out because you will not find anything like this anywhere else on the market. I probably should have mentioned there will be a lot of indie brands in this because indie brands, they just make good eyeshadows. And that's a hill that I will die on. Number three is the Glam Shop New Nude Holographic Shadow. I have just adored the holographic shadows that I purchased from Glam Shop, and this is probably my favorite. I think that in this shade you'll find that the holographicness is the most intense here. And I also just like that it's kind of a nice nudie shade, so you could wear it for like a nice neutral look that just needs a little extra pop. Uh, the formula is very nice, a little flaky, but if you use a glitter glue, it adheres really well to the lid, wears well throughout the day. I'm a huge fan and I would love to check out more shades. We're gonna go back to an old favorite. It's been a while since I've mentioned this. L'Oreal Infallible and Amber Rush. There are so many beautiful shades in the Infallible Press Pigment line, but this is hands down my favorite. I really feel like it's one of those shades, it's a rose gold kind of shade. It looks beautiful on everybody. And especially as we're gearing to like spring, summer, fall, I think this will be a beautiful shade because it just complements every look so nicely. My favorite way to do this is kind of have this all over the lid, maybe have like a dark brown in my inner corner, kind of smoke it out a little bit and wear it with a red lip. I I always feel like that's so pretty and yeah just a huge fan I'm amazed by the way I've had this for years haven't hit pan yet it's like the the infinite eyeshadow 
A shade that I have all over my lid and that I frequently have all over my lid is the Essence Melted Chrome in Zinc About You. My mom and I are both huge fans of this because it's definitely a shade you can build upon. If you like intensity like I do, you can uh, use a glitter primer and kind of just stamp it onto the lid. Make it really nice, shiny, intense. But if you're like my mom and you want something a little subtle, you can just take your finger or a fluffy brush and kind of lightly dust this all over the lid. And you'll still get a very nice sheen, but it won't be too, too intense for every day. Although I wear red lipstick every day, so <laughs> maybe don't listen to me for everyday wear, but it is a gorgeous shadow. So I have this love affair with shades that have a pink base and a gold reflect. I'm pretty sure I did a video about this a while back when my lighting was terrible. <laughs> So feel free to watch that, but I have so many of these shadows because I just, I love them. There's something about them that I just think is so beautiful. And one of my favorites is another Terra Moon shade, Wicked Rose. Oh, it's just, it's so beautiful. The Terra Moon's formula is really amazing. There's a nice pronounced shift with this. And it's definitely a nice one and done shadow if these kind of colors are your thing. I get like a very regal vibe from this for some reason. And I just, I love a good pink base, gold reflect, and this shade just, it makes my heart sing. Also wanted to shout out a very unique matte in my collection. This is Atramit from Glam Shop. It is such a beautiful bluey purple. It's a very deep matte. And what I found a lot of times, purples are very difficult to formulate. Matte deep purples, even worse. But something about this shade, it just blends so seamlessly. And I don't know what it is, because it's certainly, a lot of times with matte formulas, they may be looser packed, so you have an easier time blending. But it's really not. Like, I, when I tap my brush in, there isn't a whole lot of kick up. And yet, it blends so easily. It wears so well, and I don't get that muddying effect, because sometimes when you blend out deeper colors, you kind of lose the pigment a little bit. Not the case here. It's beautiful. This could probably be a nice eyeliner shade too. You could really do a lot with it. And I just have really enjoyed using it. It's definitely very unique to my collection and can't say enough good things. This should be a nail polish color. If there's a nail polish color that looks like this, leave a comment, let me know. This is gonna be kind of a boring shade, but Sydney Grace Toffee is a real workhorse matte shade in my collection. And the formula is such that, I mean, it can do no wrong. I can haphazardly throw this in my crease, and I frequently do, but it blends so easily. I really don't have to think about it. It's great for blending out other shadows. Like let's say you put a really dark color in your crease, and it's just not blending. Grab this, put a little on your brush and kind of buff it out, that will really help. So it's a great like eyeshadow look saver <laughs> because it's so just easy to blend, so nice and creamy. I know this is kind of a boring choice, but I really do appreciate the workhorse aspect of the shadow and I use it so often that I really had to give it a shout out. This next one is also Sydney Grace. This is Queen of Hearts. It's a beautiful shimmery red. What I like to do with this is kind of pair it with like a bold gold look. I'll try to explain what I mean. So um, on the like inner third of my lid, I'll do a very intense gold shimmer. I'll have this on like the outer third and then have a dark kind of royal purple color in my crease and lower lash line. I really love those kind of looks, kind of like a sunset look, I guess. And because the shadow is so intense and so shimmery, I feel like it lends itself very well to that. So there aren't a whole lot of occasions where I need to pull out a really intense shimmery red, but when I do, it really packs a punch. So if you're looking for something like this that is, I would say, like a major step up in intensity from a shade like Matte Coppering, I would suggest checking this out. I also wanted to just shout out a more like gentle shift in a multi-chrome. This is Davina Celesta and it's got kind of like a brown green base and then it shifts to kind of like a brown and then a light blue. It's got a very very sparkly base so I think that's what also lends to a more gentle shift. This is definitely different from your standard multi-chrome that is very intense and the shifts are very intense but sometimes 
Like, I don't think that if this were not in its gentle, sparkly formula, I don't know that I would like it as much. I do think this is a beautiful shadow and it catches the light quite nicely. And sometimes I feel like um, the multi-chromes that you see on social media, they can be a little intimidating. This is kind of like a beginner-friendly multi-chrome. Uh, it's still beautiful. The base is very pigmented, but it might not uh, scare off the average person who's maybe not quite ready for um, the intense multi-chromes that they see on Instagram. So this is kind of like baby's first multi-chrome, I guess. Anyways, folks, that's it. Um, also, I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but I will be linking Hanya's channel and her video in the description box, so make sure you go watch her. And a huge thank you to her for creating this video. I had so much fun and so much anxiety <laughs> going through my collection, trying to figure out my favorites. But overall, fun time was had by all. And yeah, now, friends, it is time for me to go through my eyeshadow palette collection and pick my favorites. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!